Hey everybody! So I have another bath cocktail today, but it's actually not from Lush. It's going to be from MoonsHarvest.net. And the products I'm using today are half of one of their uh, bubble bars. This is in the scent Sugar Cookie. It's a more of a pale, dark red color, and it does have a nice cookie uh, bakery type scent to it. And then the other product that I'm using is one of their butter balls. And this is a little over half of a butter ball. Uh, you can see the chunk right there. That is like shea butter and cocoa butter um, and different butters that are really moisturizing to your skin. And this is in the smell Butt Naked, which is more of a like a fruity fruit punch type of a smell. So I'm going to go ahead. I've filled up the tub a little bit of the ways with water. So I'm going to start the water and start crumbling in my bubble bar. I'm going to set part of it aside. And they're super creamy. Um, these are definitely products that are very moisturizing. Like, it just, it, I don't know, they're so soft. And you just got to mix up your water because otherwise it will settle at the bottom of your tub. And so it's not going to give you enough bubbles if it's just, you know, settling at the bottom. So now here's the other half of that. So you can see it is starting to create some bubbles throughout the tub. Mix the water around a little more. And the thing that I've realized actually with Moon's Harvest products are very different from Lush in the time that it takes them to dissolve. Um, with Lush products, when you put a bath bomb in the water, it's normally going to fizzle up and be gone in less than a minute. Uh, with Moon's Harvest, they want their products to last longer while you're in the tub, uh, to probably enjoy it longer. So with their products, they normally are going to last you for about five minutes of it fizzing before it's going to quit. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping in part of the bath bomb. There's the little chunk. It's over there. Fizzing away. And then this is the chunk that has the butter in it. It's real soft. I'm actually going to scrape that top part off just for right now and drop in the rest. So here's part of the little butter chunk that comes in it. And it's just very soft, extremely moisturizing. I'm going to set that up there. And these bath bombs do sink. When you plop them in, they don't stay at the top of the water. They're going to sink to the bottom. It's given off a light pink color, and it's creating some more bubbles, so I'm just going to let the water run. But Moon's Harvest is a, pro is a company that's family owned, family based, um, and their bath bombs, they only cost about three seventy five, dollars and you can get a few, a few different uses out of them. They're not they're eight ounces, so they're not supposed to be used all at once. And same with the bubble bars. The bubble bars, they want you to get about two uses out of. So here's the other half of the bubble bar in its little packaging. You can see that. I'll spread the rest of the crumbs in there. And then this is what I have left of that butter ball. So it's still down there, just fizzing away. About like this now. Oh, you can see the butter on, on right here. There's a huge chunk um, of the butter. That's just, that's going to be so soft. Um, really moisturizing water. And this one is creating more bubbles than I've had in the past from uh, the bubble bars I've tried at Moon's Harvest. So I'm very excited um, that it really is giving off bubbles. I did realize the moon pie that I had a video up of, or not the moon pie, the um, bling bath dessert isn't created to give off bubbles. 
it is mainly to be used as a um, like a bath melt and a bath bomb, uh, not so much for bubbles. So this product is intended for bubbles and it's doing a pretty good job. So this is my bath for the day. And you can see all the bubbles. And they keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And that's good enough for me. Um, and let me see if the bath bomb is still fizzing away in here somewhere. And if you can see, the water's a nice pale pink. I don't think it's showing up. Let's see if that helps. Gotta move the bubbles out of the way. Yeah, it's not really showing up on my camera, but it's a nice, pretty light pink. Um, the bath is very scented. It's a more of a scented bath, I would say, than some of the Lush products, uh, because the scent will last on your body. Um, so that's always nice. So it's very moisturizing, and the scent does last. But I'm going to go ahead and hop in, and I hope that you guys all are having a great day. And I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you. Bye. And here's the chunk of the butter. Uh, that was in the middle of that bath bomb. So you can see it's very creamy. And super moisturizing. It definitely just like melts in your hand. And I'd say overall with these two products, the Butterball and the Bubble Bar, I will definitely be repurchasing both of them. Um, I'm very happy with how moisturizing the Butterball was. I don't think my skin has ever felt this soft. Um, it's extremely moisturizing, so I'm definitely going to be getting some more of those on my next purchase. And the bubble bar I am very pleased with. Um, I didn't get a whole ton of bubbles, but I also don't have, you know, jets or, I guess, super strong, you know, water pressure. And I probably should start the bubble bar earlier in the bath than when I actually did. Uh, but they are both products that I would definitely recommend and repurchase.